Okay, so today I want to just go over how you uh, can work out the half-life of a radioactive substance uh, using a graph. So in an exam, you might be kind of presented with uh, a graph that looks a bit like this. Now, you might have maybe the number of atoms here. It could have something called count rate here. Uh, but you're going to have some numbers going down on the y-axis. And also, we're going to have time going along here on the x-axis. You need to look at... Well, what are the units? Are the years, days, uh, hours, minutes? Uh, okay, so a, a sensible way of solving, you know, how how long is the half life uh, of a substance? Choose a number on the y-axis that's easily divisible by or divisible by two. So, for example, a hundred. Well, a uh, hundred divided by two is fifty. So. We're looking for the time it takes to come to 50. Well, here's 50. So our half-life uh, goes from here to here. So in this case, it was one year. And also, well, half of 50 is 25. So if we look at 25, again, the same amount of time from one to two years, which is also uh, one year. Uh, and if we really want to... To look at the graph, well, halfway uh, 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 here is uh, 12.5. Again, exactly the same amount of time. So that's how you use a graph to work out the, the half-life.